Hello, welcome to another video. I'm off the beaten track again. doing welcome back to another video chilled out video today I thought I'd take a summer walk down the Rochdale Canal and along the River Irwell which is where I am now um, and of course summer in Manchester it throws it down but why not um, I was in Scotland last week glorious sunshine I hope you enjoyed the Ben Nevis video and the one before that which was on Saddleworth Moor and the one before that was off the beaten track and I got quite a few new subscribers from that video so hello to the new subscribers and of course hello to all my subscribers as well thank you for being here thank you for supporting me that's why I'm out here today in the pouring rain making another video the day we drove up to Scotland was the day after the bomb in Manchester which was which was utterly devastating and completely gutted about what happened and about a couple of hours ago I was just in St Anne's Square there just taking a look at the uh, all the flowers and the, the, the memorials that people have done it's truly Truly amazing. So off I set on my little journey, my little walk down the canal. And it starts at Manchester Oxford Road station. I had a quick coffee there. And there was a disused cinema there called the, the Corner House. And everyone used to love the Corner House because it showed movies that you didn't get in the regular cinema. Anyway, it's been closed a while and it's been taken over by a group of homeless people who are protesting against the lack of housing in the city. And a bit like if you watched the video that I did called Last Stand at the Juicy Bridge Pub. Well, they've moved from the Juicy Bridge Pub now and they're now over at the Cornhouse Cinema. And for a while there was a group of creative people in there as well and they were showing their, uh, I think it was like a photography exhibitions and painting and it was really good but I never actually got in to see it. Anyway, the guys are there again, they're protesting and it's just, I love it because it's just part of the vibrant heart of the city to be honest with you. And I suppose eventually they will get kicked out. Um, but uh, good on them, good luck to them. Anyway, off a walk then to another cinema which was the Odeon on Oxford Street in Manchester and that's been pulled down and I remember going there back in the 80s with my friends and seeing a few films there but so sad and I just wanted to catch it before it got flattened completely and I went around the back of it obviously seats raining there and you can just see the last bit of the floors that are remaining and it's just the front fascia that's up now but imagine the people that have been in there and took the seats and uh, watched the films and stuff and ate popcorn and drank coke but yeah really interesting to see that just before it gets finally gets flattened to the ground so behind me is where the hacienda was it's now the hacienda apartments basically trading off the name of the hacienda so not worth discussing the apartments and the nearest you'll get to being on the Hacienda dance floor these days is the car park that's underneath the apartments because apparently that's at the same level that the original dance floor was at and where the stage was and everything. In fact, where you see that car going out now, it's probably roughly where the stage was. Ironic that that pillar's got the stripes on it, really ironic. And I remember probably 1983 to about 1986 going to various gigs there. I went in the early days before it was... Uh, before it was a, a rave venue, I, I went to the gigs really. But the metalwork that forms part of the fence of the, the car park for the apartments has got all these sort of like engravings in it.
few nice days now I've walked down the canal, the Rochdale Canal, and seen this little oasis here where somebody lives. There's a canal boat washing hanging out, but well, it's getting wet today. <laughs> washing hanging out and it's in the sort of like it's in the shelter of these like great big railway arches. I don't know who lives here or why, but they've got a really nice little oasis here, just two seconds away from the bottom of Deansgate, which is a major road in Manchester. the railway arches of the the railways that come out of Manchester through Castlefield and down towards Salford and it really is a spectacular eerie place I think one of the reasons I like canals and railway architecture is because I grew up sandwiched between a canal and a railway, believe it or not. And back in the 70s, the canals around Manchester were like, nobody knew what to do with them. They were just places that time had spat out, really. And they were kind of like, they were places where people left the rubbish. You know, the canals were full of shopping trolleys and old bicycles and, you know, you were lucky to find a fish in there. You were more likely to find a bike in there than a fish. The mighty castle field, built when cast iron railway bridges and boats brought goods to Manchester for the cotton industry. This place is just amazing. The architecture is fantastic. Proper, old fashioned Victorian railway architecture. Love this place. You feel completely dwarfed here. So this little abandoned part of Manchester, if I'm correct, is the remainder of what was the Salford Junction Canal, which is now a hidden underground canal in Manchester. If you look at the lock gates there, look at those. They haven't moved in a few years. Um, probably the original gates from like a couple of hundred years ago. And you can see that the, the canal comes here, runs along there, but abruptly stops there at a brick wall. But at one time it would have carried on that way and the rest of it is hidden underground under the buildings in Manchester. That is the, the, where the Salford Junction Canal emerged into the River Irwell. Let's go and take a look up there. Yeah, this is the River Irwell. And if you just look over there, which I'll point the camera to now, is a great big new structure that they're building which links Manchester Piccadilly with Manchester Victoria and for years and years and years since I was a kid they've been talking about uh, linking the two stations together because believe it or not the lines that run into Piccadilly run from the south and stop and the lines that run into Victoria run from the uh, east, west and north and stop and the two didn't really meet you had to go a very very long way round via Salford to get them to sort of like get from Piccadilly to Victoria and I think at one time they were talking about building an underground link called the Pick Vic Link and uh, in typical sort of 70s style there was like these brochures out that showed these futuristic trains running underground under Manchester and guess what it never got built but only now in 2017 have they finally built this link and it's just still being finished off now make a nice picture that wouldn't it with a uh, little uh, reflection of the bridge in the water I do love the signage on that warehouse, it's fantastic. And bonded warehouse, back in the day when it was a great cotton warehouse, it would have been bonded by customs and excise. And that's all that remains of Manchester's theme park, Granada Studios Tours. That was the entrance, and the Studios Tours took you a little bit round Granada Studios, which was there at the time, and you got a little trip up Coronation Street, and it was sometime in the 80s, I think it was the late 80s when it was running, and I applied for a job there but unfortunately didn't get it. 
and it was difficult to film this footage because the road was closed due to that great big bridge project I showed you and the man said to me you can't film down there so I had to just stand at the fence and just try and film what I could but yes that's the, the entrance and all that is left of Granada Studios tours Manchester's city centre theme park in the 80s so just as a matter of interest behind me there see that building there that wooden building Granada TV because we're in Granada land here all around there was the TV studios complex Granada's gone now, it's become part of ITV and they've moved down to Salford Keys. But yeah, that there, that wooden building there. In the 80s, Granada attempted a new soap opera. I think it, it may have even been before EastEnders and it was called Albion Market. Some of you may remember it. I think it only lasted a short time, but it used to be filmed there, there, in that wooden bit there. But yeah, Albion Market, if you remember that, comment down below because it'll be fascinating to see if I'm the only one or if I made it up in the head or something like that. I can't have done it, can't have any manufactured memory. I'm sure they made that program. So I hope you like this little video. There's more to come. There's uh, probably going to be a, another Scotland video coming up. Um, I've got some beautiful footage of the Isle of Skye and a particular mountain that I went searching for. Uh, I managed to get some good photographs of that. Uh, if you like the video, Stay tuned for more, there will be more coming, more Manchester videos coming. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, it's really motivating when you do that and if you want to subscribe, please subscribe as well. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.